If you take a look at Darwin, you see a case where it was so tempting to say, I find a watch. It requires a watchmaker. Watches do not spontaneously self-assemble. And now I find uh, an acorn or a squid or a bacterium. It is much more intricately and exquisitely put together than a watch. Here too, there must have been a creator. It's very natural. But what Darwin pointed out is that there is a perfectly reasonable process, which is inevitable, which will create enormous, exquisite order out of chaos given enough time. If we thought the universe was only 6,000 years old, there is not enough time and evolution is nonsense. But if, as in fact is now definitively true, the solar system and the Earth are four and a half billion years old, billion years old, then there's plenty of time for evolution and our sense that order means creator is wrong. Finally, you can say, look, you can go back as far as you want, but somehow the stuff of the universe had to come from somewhere, and isn't that what God did? But that's only true if the universe was created. If the universe was always here, if the universe was infinitely old, then there's nothing for a creator to do. Most of us would be surprised to hear that the universe is going to end one day. We expect the universe to go on forever into the future. Why do we have the idea that it doesn't go on forever into the past? I'm not saying I know the answer to this. This is one of the deepest questions. We do not know the answer. We simply have to keep an open mind. All of us, philosophers, scientists, religious people, no one in fact knows.